Hey everybody, it's the Stoned Up here here. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Stoned Final Fantasy VI Advance. In the last episode, we went down the, what was it, the River of Leth or something like that? Something like that. With uh, Terra, Bannon, Edgar, and Sabin. And Sabin got separated from our party, and uh, we kind of split into three parties here. So we uh, right now we have our choice of which scenario we want to do first. We can pick Sabin's scenario, uh, Bannon, Terra, and Edgar, or Locke. Uh, so... The longest one is Sabin's. Sabin's is pretty darn long. The shortest one is Terra's. Terra's is pretty darn short. And the medium one is Locks. So I think we'll just go from left to right, I think, and we'll start off with Locks. Locke was. Uh, Locke has worked hard to stimmy the efforts of the. I've never heard that word before. Stimmy? Is that stimmy? 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 <laughs> stimmy the efforts of the Imperial troops in South Figaro. But now he desperately needs to escape. Okay, so here we are as Locke in South Figaro, running away from the guards. You can't see me now because I'm behind a house. Rawr. Damn it, gotta get to Narsh on the fly. Alright, uh, I guess it's going here. The way they put us, it seems to be telling us to go in here. And this is Duncan's house. This is Duncan's wife. <laughs> Rich people's homes always have secret passages. You just have to search until you find a place where you can feel the draft. Okay, that's good advice. Um, I don't think there's anything down here, but I'm gonna go down just in case. Oh, a save point, okay. Um, no real need to do that, because, I mean, we've been playing for, like, less than a minute since, <laughs> since the last time uh, there was a save point opportunity kind of thing. So basically, uh, you want to, as you can see, there's guards everywhere, um, so you're kind of forced to take certain paths. I think we're supposed to go to this place first, I believe. Right. Yes, this is this is the item shop. Oh yeah. Um, always inspect clocks like this. Anytime there's a clock like that, always just go up to it and press A. There's usually an item or some sort of like a switch or something. Stay away from those armored soldiers. They'll kill you just for talking to them. Good advice. Thank you. All right. Let's talk to the item guy first. Um. Actually, I guess this probably would be a good time to stock up on some stuff. So let's get a few antidotes. Uh, let's get a few gold needles. Few eye drops, make sure I've got five of everything pretty much, I guess. Just in case, because you never know when you, oops, when you need that kind of stuff. And let's get ten Phoenix Downs, actually. Phoenix Downs are reasonably expensive, as you can see. Actually, fuck it, let's only get it eight. Uh, and then I think that's Buck Sleeping Bag, so we got ten, so good enough. Okay. So what you're going to want to do here is talk to this asshole, who's a merchant. You're the infamous thief, Locke, aren't you? Oh, no, that was just plain rude. I'm a treasure hunter. Don't you forget it. Yeah, so, uh, I guess they don't like each other very much. But as you can see, he's wearing a bunch of these weird robes. Uh, that's kind of exaggerated. Like, it's exaggerated how much he's clothed, do you know what I mean? So we're going to want to steal, actually. And we stole all the plumed hat. And all his clothes, too. Here we go. <laughs> They're a little tight. But the price was right. And, uh, and now that this guy has no clothes, he's gonna flee. And we've stolen the merchant's clothes. Why do I always have to go and open my mouth? Because you're an idiot. Alright, let's go. Now that we have our merchant's clothes, uh, we can... I forget where. I think it's in this place. Because uh, if we had gone here before, I'm pretty sure there's a guy that says uh, you can't pass here unless you are a merchant. Oh wait, I think, yeah, I think it's down here. Yep, it is down here. My grandpa used to be a servant for the richest family in town. You're a merchant, right? Okay, go right ahead. If you weren't a merchant, this little fucker would not let you through. Um, so I think there's an item back here. I think. Oops. Yep, yeah, there's a potion. Cool. Is that it, or is there a secret passage? There's secret passages in a lot of places in here, so just kind of like, feel free to like, run against walls and stuff like that. Um, yeah, so, basically this is a way to get through here and get past the guards without actually, like, walking through the guards there. Um, so we do have, uh, the armor and weapon shop, but I don't think we need to do anything there for right now. Um, one thing we can do, if I remember, is we can actually go down here... And there's this guy here. As long as you don't talk to him, I don't think you get you get into a battle. Um, but one of these fucking needs to get out of the way. There we go. One of these contains an item. I'm telling you. There we go. Teleport stone. The fuck? What even 
is you. Is it a relic? No, it's not. Um, no, I'm gonna save these sprint shoes. Actually, maybe if there's sprint shoes at the at the the store there. Oops, I guess it's one of items. Um, where the fuck was that thing? Teleport stone. Teleports the party out of a dungeon or battle. Cool. It's pretty handy, I guess. Um, so, uh, I think I'm going to head back to the, um, well, actually, I guess no, because you, I, the, the armor and weapon shop doesn't have relics, so I can't even get to the relic place point at this point in time. Anyways, there's a guard there, so we can't go over there, um, and there's a guard there, so we can't go over there, so we're going to want to go left and then up. We basically just want to go where there's no guards, so there's guards everywhere here, um, so I'm pretty sure... Fuck, how do we get across there? Oh, there we go. This is how you can do it. As you can see, this is kind of a secret entrance, I guess you could say, or a secret pathway. Uh, but, uh, yeah, that's how you want to get across. So there's guards everywhere there. Oops. God damn it. There we go. Let's go down here. And now we can go into uh, the inn slash relic shop. So let's buy some sprint shoes. Let's buy two. Okay, cool. Um, wait, what is this? Yeah, poison, uh, education, yeah, fuck all that stuff. Okay, let's equip lock with some spring shoes real quick. Make this a little easier. There we go. Alright, now I'm not even sure if you're supposed to head in, into the inn here, I don't even remember. Um, let's try all these rooms, I guess. You can heal here if you want to. Um, no, I don't think we have anything to do here. Business has slowed to a crawl thanks to the Empire. Yeah, cool story. Alright. Oh, well, we're back at the pub, I guess. Wow, there's soldiers everywhere. Um, I believe what we need to do... There's, God damn, there's soldiers everywhere. Um, shit. You know what? I think I'm going to cut ahead until I actually remember what we're supposed to do. Oh, we're supposed to go down here. Probably. I don't know. I know I need to get some cider. Wow, there's a lot of items here. I need to get some cider. Remember that merchant way back in episode, I don't know what. I guess I'll just run over and show you guys. Because uh, I'm pretty sure he's still like, yo, give me some fucking cider. I want that cider. Which is this little fucker's dad, I believe. Like, or grandpa. Yes, yes, get out of the way. This guy over here. This is the guy that wants cider. Remember the merchant who was like, out of my way, I need to deliver cider. No cider? Then what are you doing here? Yeah, so we need to give this asshole cider. Um, and now I do not remember where the cider comes from, but we will find out. Okay, you know what it is? We have to go back to this fucking place, I'm pretty sure. Or, sorry, no, not this place. You can steal this clothes again if you want to. I don't know why you would. Secret path, secret path, secret path, anybody? No. Okay, we have to go... Get out of the way, bitch. This is stupid. This this game sucks with, uh, the... Like, I've mentioned this before, but this game really sucks with characters getting in your way. Like little other dudes. Uh, computer characters or whatever. We're gonna want to go back to the pub. Which is this even? How do I... Oh, God, I'll just cut till I get back to the pub. Okay, we're back at the pub. And, uh, I'm pretty sure I just forgot to go down stairs, because I got scared by all these soldiers. <laughs> you just need to go downstairs, and the cider, I'm pretty sure, is, like, just sitting somewhere. Uh, any secret passages? None here. Alright. Yeah, this is the cider guy. Hey, you came to steal my cider, did you? You dirty little thief. Yeah, we actually, it's funny, because we did come to steal the cider. Um, I think we just have to kill him, but I guess let's steal, and then we get the cider, maybe? Nope, we guess. Oh, or I guess we can just steal his clothes, and he'll, uh, and he'll go a little tight, but the price was right, and he'll flee, and then, uh, and then I think his cider is just sitting, uh, in his room here. So I guess we could have, uh, just skipped the, that item shop there, there we go, there's the cider. We could have skipped that item shop where uh, we fought that other merchant, I guess, because we got clothes anyways. Um, I'm, I'm so sure that there's a secret passage somewhere, 
in uh, in South Figaro here that has like a really good item behind it somewhere. So I'm trying to be really careful and not miss it. Anyways, I'm gonna cut back until we are in that uh, old man's house, and we'll give him the cider. Okay, here we are at the old man. Ah, cider, glug glug. Mm, secret passage? Well, yes, there is a tunnel from here to the mansion at the north end of town. Go downstairs and tell my grandson the password is, um, I forget. Wow, what a dickhead. Um, can we get past here? No, we cannot. Alright. So let's head downstairs and talk to his grandson. The password is Rosebud, Courage, or Failure. <laughs> it's Courage. I'll show you the secret entrance. Thank you. There we go. Thanks, little boy. And we can. Whoops. Wait, I want to check and see if this. Never mind. There's probably no secret entrance there. Well, I guess we go, like, underground or under the town. Pretty cool. Alright, now this, we want to check all these clocks and shit. And we get an elixir. And I'm pretty sure we can... There's a secret passage somewhere, I'm telling you. Mark my words. Is there anything in these? Nope. Alright. Nothing up there, nothing over there. I really don't want to miss the secret passage right where... with the... F okay. I guess I need to go to the right. There we go. Alright. Nothing in this barrel. Oh, wait, there is. Phoenix down. Awesome. That's handy. Okay. Hello. The Imperial troops have turned this house into their headquarters. Awesome. Yeah, so there's an Imperial troop. Um, so there's no secret paths on this level, I don't believe. But if we go up the stairs, I'm pretty sure it's in uh, it's in this place. Remember uh, at the beginning of this episode, well, not the beginning, but closer to the beginning, um, there was that lady who was like, hey, go where there's a breeze and there's secret passages and shit. But what have I done? I betrayed my town to the Empire. All I could think of was the money. What an asshole. Yeah. So I'm... Can you guys hear that? Yep, that's the breeze. Dun-dun-dun. So let's head down the secret pathway. Um, I, I don't think it really matters. Fuck it, we'll remove it. Who cares? Uh, so there's nothing over there. But there's shit over here. I know I've seen her before. Wait a second. She's one of the, Imperi or the Empire's generals. This is what happens to traitors! A Magitech knight forged by the Empire and tempered in battle. None have ever truly known the woman beneath the general's disguise. Or the general's guise. I think that's how you pronounce it. <laughs> this is Celeste, who's actually uh, a general of the Empire, but she's imprisoned for some reason. So the mighty Celeste has fallen. Not as far as those who'd use their strength to oppress the weak. Quiet! Kefka's planning to poison every last man, woman, and child in the kingdom of Doma. Shut up! <laughs> Run that mouth of yours while you still can. Your execution's tomorrow. Keep a close eye on her. Yes, sir, I can stand guard for days without sleep. <laughs> If she's like a general, why doesn't she just shit kick that guard? And look at Locke up there. <laughs> He's like hiding in the rafters. And he jumps down. It's his little crouching sprite. Okay, let's go in. Fuck that guy, let's just talk to Celeste. <laughs> and remove her bindings while that guy does nothing. And you are. Name's Locke, with the Returners. You're a Returner? I'm, or at least I was, General Celeste. Now I'm nothing but a traitor. Well, let's get going. You take me with you? No, I can barely walk. I'd never make it out of here. I appreciate it, but even if you got me out, you wouldn't be able to protect me. I'm better off waiting here for the Executioner. At least my way. Uh, not, bleh, at least that way, I'll keep my pride. I'll protect you. That guard is just standing there. Trust me, you'll be fine. 
He just winked. Wow, that was awesome. <laughs> Let's go. Wait. This soldier might have something on him that could help us get out of here. Okay. Oh, he's asleep. There's a clock key in his pocket. Well, of course we're going to take it. Oh my goodness. He woke up. More soup. Mmm. No. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. So now we have Celeste in our party, which is pretty cool. So uh, I think we're going to take this time to equip her as she is unarmed, as you can see. Whoa, look at all this stuff. All right. So she's going to get a mithril sword. Actually, you know what? She, I think she has... Whatever, we'll equip her with this stuff for now anyways, just in case we can go battle. But I think we I think we end up like finding all of her equipment or something. Something like that, I don't know. Anyways, uh, let's head over into the next little room here. And there's a save point here. Um, you know what, I think I actually am going to save and end this episode off now because uh, the next stuff we have to do actually takes a little while, so I don't want this episode to run ridiculously long. So I'm going to end it off here, and in the next episode we are going to escape with Locke and our new party member, Celeste. Uh, and, yeah. Yeah, basically just escape. That's all we're going to do. <laughs> I'll see you guys next time. This is the Stoned Up here, signing off.